After 11 years at the helm of the University of Calgary's radio station, CJSW station manager Chad Saunders is handing in his captain's hat. Tim Mooney takes a look at the reign of Chad Saunders. When I asked the staff and volunteers of CJSW what type of person Chad Saunders is, the responses were a people person, someone who if you walked in the door as a volunteer could make you feel like you belonged. He's great at welcoming people in. Um, it's just really nice to, like he's, not, he's not judgmental or anything, so um, it's very easy to get along with him and, and come into the station and, and um, start doing stuff. Apart from him being a, a really fun guy and his alter ego being insane, he's, he was able to keep things together and actually keep his running in the right direction. Um, I just walked through the doors and there's this wild and crazy personality, this guy who runs around the station. And uh, over time, you realize, generally over time, you don't find out the first day, but over time you realize, oh my God, this is the guy who's actually running things. This is the guy who's running the show, which is a, a little terrifying. And then you get to know him and, and you realize it's a good thing. Saunders faced a variety of problems in his 11-year reign, such as finding the current home for CGSW's broadcast tower, threats from protest groups, and the intensity of the yearly funding drives. But when asked about the thing he will be remembered for most, his legacy, Consensus seems to be it is moving CJSW from its long-term home in the moldy, leaky basement of Mac Hall up into the vibrant, sunny space where it currently resides. He worked tirelessly at, um, at making arrangements with the students' union and contractors and architects to make sure this project um, was absolutely perfect. I would think actually getting this project finished. Um, without having a nervous breakdown. But the move was not an easy process for Saunders. And in fact, it led to one of his lowest moments when, partway into the move process, his attempt to get a thorough project analysis caused the project to temporarily derail. Uh, I felt very personally responsible for, you know, spending some money, um, money that was really hard to raise, um, considering, um, you know, it's a pretty precious resource when you get people to donate and support the radio station. and. Uh, I felt I let the membership down. I felt that, um, yeah, maybe this is it. Like, I could probably lose my job. The good stuff is when uh, we, we came out of that. I came out of that personally and stuff. And um, got the space built. It's awesome. Um, turned out okay in the end. Everything worked out all right. So uh, I guess the high point is just knowing that I met a lot of good folks here. It's awesome. Yeah, people. And in the end, Maybe it won't be the move itself that will be his true legacy. I think it's how he led this station. I think it's his personality. 